Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and happy Monday of quarantine. Uh, I'm sorry, I just have to say it. Anyways, I just decided to make uh, this short video to show you how to, to clean your stainless steel fridge from corrosion. Because sometimes your stainless steel fridge uh, create corrosion. This stainless steel fridge is new to me, but it has been pre-owned. The thing is my last fridge broke down so my husband has to broke this one and kind of an emergency for us so um, it was kind of cheap but when he bring it home I realized why it was that cheap anyways so to clean all this um, corrosion I brought this barkeeper's friend it's a cooked up cleaner but it's amazing how to can get rid of the uh, corrosion in every stainless steel piece or ampliance you have in your home. So I'm just gonna give you a close up on how the um, spots of corrosion looks like. They are really tiny and from far away you cannot see them but once you're in front of them you can really really notice them. So you just need to bring a soft cloth and a drop or this of the solution, I'm sorry, and you just have to start cleaning all the spots. So yes, <laughs> I made a mistake. You should not clean on circular motion. Uh, cleaning on circular motion, the only thing it, you're gonna create are scratches on your fridge so you need to clean up and down that's the way you have to clean your fridge so after you clean everything really really good you just wipe them down again with the same uh, soft cloth once you do that you can notice where you have clean and where you haven't so these strikes you see here they are not uh, scratches in the fridge they are just from the solution we're gonna clean it up right now but do you see that <laughs> it's a small dot of corrosion and I'm gonna clean it really good because I missed it so now it's clean and after I wiped down also I was just showing you that those strikes are from the fridge the last owners, like I said, it looks like they didn't have a really good care of the fridge, so it has a lot of scratches all over it. So to remove all this um, solution that it has been left in the doors, you just need a towel paper. Or if you have any other dry soft cloth, you can use that. Anyways, I didn't have any on hand, that's why I'm using this uh, towel paper. And you just have to clean it again, up and down, not in circular mode, because you're going to ruin it. Um, as you can see right here, I haven't taken the solution yet, and this part I did, so it's a big difference, right? And don't mind these scratches, these scratches... It, you see they are kind of in a circular mode and that's because the last owner did clean this fridge with a circular mode and with some sort of sponge or something and that's why it caused these scratches. Anyways, in the bottom part it has a few dots of corrosion and I'm just gonna do it again. Clean with the sponge and the solution. Um, you just have to repeat the process all over again and you always can work by sections or can do it all at once and as you can see right here I'm just working on the bottom part of my fridge and that is because I work in the top earlier um, and when I, I was almost finishing, I remembered to do the video for you. So I'm sorry for that. So right here you can see this part hasn't been cleaned with the towel paper. And this one, it has been cleaned. So um, after you 
clean or take away all the solution you're gonna see that your fridge it's gonna shine really really nice so please remember to clean all the handles too because sometimes when you have kids and those kids grab the handles with the uh, wet hands the handles start to build a few spots of corrosion too so check often on the handles so after i clean all the front of the fridge i'm gonna start to working on the inner part of the door and that will be this part over here as you can see this small part has built a few spots of corrosion too i'm just gonna give you a really good close up so you can see that even though there are no very noticeable in real life you can see them and if you let them stay there they're gonna grow this um, corrosion it's gonna get worse so I think all the plastic it's wet and that it may be causing some of the corrosion too so I just want to say that I did a mistake this is not a sponge or cloth this is a dishes drying mat and I have it on around my house for so long and I haven't used it so I decided to cut it in pieces and use it to clean all my ambulances because it's so soft that it doesn't uh, leave any strikes in in the ambulances anyways um, I'm gonna clean in all these uh, spot of corrosions that I have right here and I'm just giving a really good wipe again and before that again with the towel paper and please forget uh, the inside of my fridge I don't have a lot of food yet and this is because um, I'm just gonna clean the inside of my fridge too and I'm gonna reorganize everything but that video I will upload them maybe tomorrow or Thursday I'm not sure yet anyways um, I'm gonna clean it up this uh, spot that I still have in the fridge and I just want to show you that you just need a small um, drop of the solution with a little drop you can work a long way anyways um, clean it really really good and then wipe it down with the towel paper to remove all the residue you can have in your door now I gonna use this Clorox to clean all the um, um, plastic thing I don't remember where the name of this part is but I'm just gonna use it right here really close I mean I'm just dropping the Clorox into the um, plastic thing not into the metal part because it's gonna create more corrosion so with the tip of your finger or even your nail if you have a uh, long nails you can work all the way through and as you can see there's a lot of grime oh, wow it's nasty right <laughs> but it's gonna be much better in the end so I'm using the same uh, towel paper as you can see just because it's really really dirty but some parts of the towel paper is still clean or kind of clean so I'm using this towel paper to clean it all and again just because right now with this short gay of toilet paper and towel paper in the stores you have to be really really careful with no wasting uh, paper anyways I want to show you how clean it looks now I'm amazed on how um, the fridge looks now it looks really really clean and it looks like new to me 
even though it has a few scratches, but from far away you cannot see them. So I think this is it for today. And I just want to say that if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.